Guys, welcome back to Death Stranding. Thanks to everybody who has liked, commented or subscribed so far. I really appreciate it. And now back to the action. Yes, I guess we need to do more missions for him. So, uh, let's see. What kind of orders does he have in store for us? Oh, we have one to the Elder. We have to the Craftsman. Everything is very close. Junk Dealer is gonna be a bit more difficult at this point. So probably not. And to Lake Knot City, of course. Man, we can take all sorts of missions. Even south of Lake Knot City, I'm... Sam, double check the order summary. Uh, why? Delivering materials to increase facility stores. Completing delivery of materials will increase the amount available to the facility for constructions of uh, various equipment. Yeah, and we know that. I don't know why he's making such a fuss, such a fuss about it. Anyway, no, let's. Uh, I'm, we're gonna do a few side missions. Let's take this. Wait, is this going to the same place? Oh, a hundred and twenty kilograms. Damn, <laughs> that is heavy. Okay, let's see. Should I just do this one? <laughs> Get on the bike and do that. So, how much is that? 160 over what we already have will do 200. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, that's almost capacity there already. Can we take another one, maybe for the craftsman? Should I? No, we can take those on the way back. Although this is... Yeah, we should. This is not too heavy. This is only 3 kilograms. The Elder, it doesn't have a road, so... All right, let's do these three first and we'll see. If we need more, we'll come back. Oh, damn. Look at that tower. <laughs> and unfortunately, I cannot put anything on my bike because uh, it's not the kind of bike that stores stuff. It's the long range bike. See you again soon. All right, so first things first, let's deliver to the craftsman. Or should I actually just go straight to South Knot City first and go on the way back there? Nah, let's do this. All right, we're gonna exit at point B. Oh wait, where's the road? <laughs> uh, it's right behind me, okay, cool. I'm very thankful I have a bike right now. Oh, what the heck? That's a mule! Where did he come from? Wow! I did not expect him to be there. He surprised the heck out of me, actually. Wow, right on the edge of their territory. Alright, so where is... Uh, let's not miss our... Out point? Oh, we still have a fair way to go, okay. Oh man, that rainbow always makes me scary. One thing to note though, uh, on roads you cannot encounter BTs. Well, I'm not 100% sure that's the case, but I've never encountered them on a road on my first playthrough, so I guess that's the case, probably. All right, so now we are inside BT territory. Ah, mule territory, I mean, not BT. We should be nearing our exit point now. That's uh, where we need to go off, okay. I see they scan me, but... Um, I'm all but gone, guys. Oh, when? <laughs> Always crash landing. These guys can give you stuff if you uh, if you ask them. If you go there and press a button, I think he will give you something. Just gift it to you. you not need to uh, give him anything. All right, take your cargo. Don't 
Delivering cargo. Ah, it's you. How's it going? Wow. Carrying all this couldn't have been easy. It's funny how he says carrying all this and I just delivered three kilograms. Like, that's nothing. <laughs> Oh, interesting, he gives us an upgrade, the Bola gun level 2. Uh, remember, many people think this is one of the best guns in the game for dealing with human opponents. I do not share that sentiment, but uh, just in case you're wondering, because you'll never see me use that, this fires a uh, sort of, I don't know how to say this, a rope? Let's call it a rope, it fires a rope and uh, ties enemies up, so you gotta aim it like... Well, man, I cannot really describe it. Uh, in any case, it has an area of effect. You can uh, tie up to two or three enemies, maybe, at, at one time, I think. It, it can be useful, it's just not my cup of tea, I guess. But uh, if you play this game, do check it out. Do not uh, rely on my opinion, because most people really like this gun. Just so you know, I've put something aside for you. Maybe you could use it more than me. Go ahead and grab it whenever. And it is the Bola gun, I'm not gonna grab it though. Oh, what is that? Custom Hematic Grenades. Well, yeah, uh, should we? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Re uh, remember, when they give you gifts, they do not give you blueprints, right? So, uh... I can take these grenades, but once I use them up, they are gone forever. Like, you cannot uh, reproduce them, so... Maybe you will want to save them for something, is what I'm saying. Just keep that in mind. Well, you've done your bit. Time for me to do mine. So actually, before we go, maybe we can take something for the engineer. Let's see, does he have anything for the engineer? Oh, he actually has. Should I do this now? How much stuff do you have? Well, it's just one mission and it's... Uh, it's very... It's not heavy at all, so yeah, let's take that. A new and improved bola gun. It allows you to charge up shots for increased range and wire spread. Pretty neat, huh? So I should have called it a wire, I guess, another rope. <laughs> ah, there you go. You can tie up more things, uh, more enemies when you upgrade the gun. That's essentially it. I'm not gonna manufacture one. Let's just straight go out. Man, this tower is getting gigantic right now. I really hope we do not encounter any mules on the way back. You are incredible. Alright, so now let's uh I guess let's just head for the south. What is it called? Distribution center south of Lake Nod City. Man, <laughs> these places are a mouthful. I'm gonna try and go this way because there might be a mule waiting for me there remember when i um oh that's impressive oh that's another thing from horizon zero dawn man sony really wants me to play that game <laughs> and i will i will indulge them it's one of those games that i've waited to play on the pc for a long time man i swear to god i'm getting a playstation in the next generation these guys are putting out some of the best exclusive games ever, and even though I hate exclusives with a passion, well, because, well, why wouldn't I? <laughs> I'm a gamer. Uh, I don't know. They have proven time and time again they make great games, these guys at Sony, so... They even got cool, cool third-party exclusives, I think, for this generation. Uh, in any case, enough uh, free advertisement for Sony. Oh, come on. Come on, Sam. Now we gotta go through the river again. It is good, a good idea to boost through a river just to, uh, you know, make sure 
can get through it. Oh man. Poor bike. <laughs> Who is that for? For the elder now. That's the one person I uh, do not care about delivering to right now. Because he's not next to a road. In case you're wondering. Alright, let's get rid of this huge tower on our back now. <laughs> Man, that looks ridiculous. Alright, we have two standard orders. Take both of them. Oh guys, I'm sorry, I do not know for how long I had my mic turned up, uh, turned out, but in any case, I'm back, let's go do this. So once again, we do have a uh, full tower here to contend with, and we do have to go to the uh, same two places, so actually, I'm gonna head out here, oh man, using a controller for precision, what a nightmare. <laughs> And the other spot we're gonna go off is, uh, I guess, over here somewhere. Alright, so, let's get to it. Oh, wait though, how do we climb that? I don't know if we can. Can I go there, maybe? Oh, wow. See? Told you the bike can do anything. Even if it seems like it's having trouble with it. If you persevere, you can actually pretty much go anywhere with that. Alright, now we have to cross the river yet again. Is that for? Oh, that's for the craftsman. Which one's the craftsman? Wait a sec. Yeah, we should take that. Oh man, the things that people throw down. And we should probably get the ceramics as well. You know what? Can I even take that? I don't think I have room. 
Yeah, I could have taken that, but I don't think I can take anything anymore. I think we are at, not capacity, but at maximum height right now. And that goes distribution center south of Lignot City. Why didn't I take that on the way home? Yeah, in any case, now we're going the other way, so... Let's not bother with that. Please charge my bike. And let's go. I know in this episode we haven't advanced a lot of... Uh, a lot of the main story. But I thought you guys would want to see maybe a few side missions and see how you can upgrade stuff. Especially the engineer, which is uh, the one quest giver that is totally worth doing missions for. I wanted to show you that one. Oh, and there's even Alloy waiting for us. That is the protagonist of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, by the way. Alright, so... Deliver the requested cargo. Hey Sam, how are things? Wow, during all this couldn't have been easy. Actually, it was very easy. <laughs> Yeah, I think he still means the, uh... Oh, even more hematic grenades. Custom ones. Okay. Cool. Uh, man, I'm carrying too many hematic grenades, though. I should probably ditch some of the normal ones. Seeing you in action gives me hope. Keep it up, Sam. Alright, now I'm gonna deliver some lost cargo to him as well, and then we will be on our way. Alright, so... Let's get going again. And I just discovered, by the way, I have a ton of materials stored at these guys because I've done a ton of missions for them. So when we need to advance and go towards this area down here, I will uh, use some of that to build us some roads, make our, uh, make our life a little bit easier the next time we go there. For now, though, let's head back to the engineer and see if we have enough for him to uh, give us an upgrade that we so much desperately need wait uh yeah let's go towards the road not towards the stone Actually, wait, did I overshoot it? No, we're going fine. Let's keep going. Let's get off here. Oh man, did somebody spot me again? I think there's a mule there that keeps spotting me. Oh wow, these guys. Here is your cargo. Two of them, actually. I think that should do it. He should give us an upgrade. I mean, we've done three missions for him. Should be enough. Hey, 
Sam. How's it going? Well, the cargo's in great condition. Uh, let's see. Do we get an upgrade? Yes, Power Skeleton Level 2 is now available in various colors. That's all I'm getting. Smoke grenades as well. And even more materials. Thanks. Until next time. Good work. New order available. Please access the... I wonder if we can keep doing missions for him. Now we are going to go back to the uh, main city, so if there's something we can do there, let's see. Yep, that's something we can take. So let's take this one. All right, now I'm curious to see, is that mule very close? You can already see, do you see that uh, yellow, yellow spot in the distance? That's where the mule spotted me. So I, I am kind of wondering <laughs> if he will see me actually. I think he's here. Let's see. Weapons restrictions lifted. Yeah, see that uh, thing that says ceramics? That's actually a mule. We're gonna just run past him real quick. Or I could run him over even. <laughs> like that. Which is not very kind of me, but still. One less mule to worry about. I wonder if they can throw their spears on the roads here. Remember these guys, they throw electrical spears. Oh, Jesus, they can! What the heck? Okay, question asked and question answered, <laughs> I guess. Jesus, that was dangerous. That never happened to me once during my normal playthrough. Getting uh, kicked off a highway by mules with spears. Oh wow, so many holograms. <laughs> People are building stuff like crazy. People down in South Nut City have had to suffer through a lot of terrorist attacks lately. They've not been receiving supplies regularly either. No one's starving, not yet, but a sense of unease is spreading across the city. We need you to bring them as much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. You'll also be carrying seeds, earthworm and insect protein paste, organic chemicals, and anti-BT weapons laced with your blood. None of which can be sent by a Cairo printer. A delivery will remind the citizens they're connected to the rest of the country. It will give them hope. And if you can get them connected to the Cairo network, all the better. Something's been nagging at me, though. Fragile checked in a little while ago, saying that due to some instability with the beach, she was having trouble making jumps. Until things settle down, she won't be able to help you out. Fragile's at the distro center south of Lake Nod if you want to hear the rest of the story. I marked a location on your map. Be sure to take a look. By the way, chiral density appears to be increasing across the board. We're currently looking into what kind of impact this might have on Cupid functionality. No need for you to worry about all that, though. Just keep on doing what you do best, huh? Alright, so actually he's hinting had a lot of uh, story-related things there. I'm not gonna reveal anything to you. In any case, let's uh, do some deliveries here. Hey, Sam. Good to see you. 
legend does it again. Everything looks to be in perfect condition. Thank you, Sam. Until the next delivery, then. Stay safe. All right, so let's see. Do I actually get the next main mission from here? That seems to be the case. Emergency provisions. Oh, it's actually only 43 kilograms. Oh, that's okay. That's not too bad. The way he uh, worded it, he kept saying stuff after stuff. I thought I would be delivering like a uh, a tower of things. <laughs> All right, let's take that. And we are done with this episode. Thank you to everybody who watched until the end. You guys are the best. Alright, see ya.